sushi appetizer, I'm going to make snow crab and caviar uh, nigiri. So um, I'm going to start with my ingredients here. I've got about half a cup of uh, snow crab meat that I've uh, shelled. Put that in there. I've got some kewpie mayo that I'm going to mix with the crab meat. I'm going to use about a tablespoon. Um, let's try that up and see how that works. Um, I've got some water because I'm going to need that for my hands to keep the rice from sticking. I've got some sushi rice here. Now this you can either pick up at a restaurant. Um, I've, I've picked it up at Whole Foods in their little sushi section, just got a container of rice. Or um, you can check out my sushi uh, prep video and it'll walk you through making rice. And I've got some caviar. This probably isn't where you're, where you're going to want to use your highest end caviar. So um, this is kind of a middle of the road. It's not like there's cheap caviar, but anyway. And then I've got a nigiri sheet here. Uh, nigiri is dried seaweed that we use for sushi rolls. Um, I've got a packaging here, you can see. Um, I picked this up at the Asian market. They'll sometimes sell it at supermarkets or um, like specialty stores. They don't tend to be as high quality. You wanna look for the color being kind of green and gold. Um, with my nori sheet, there's a rough side and a smooth side, and we will get into that later. So let's mix up the crab and our mayonnaise here. I usually just use my hands to be honest, but... Um, now you can put as much or as little mayonnaise in as you prefer, it's personal taste. Um, I, uh, we want the crab to stick together, but I don't want the flavor to be predominantly mayonnaise. I think I'm going to actually use a tablespoon and a half, though. Um, make sure that your crab meat before mixing it is, is decently dry, uh, depending on how frozen it was before. There might be some moisture after you take it out of the shell, and you don't want your mayonnaise to get soupy. Okay, so I've got my crab meat all mixed up. I'm going to move my water out of the way for a second. And I'm going to work with my nori sheet. Now, when you're making a sushi roll, you take a full sheet of nori and you use about half of it. Now, you can just fold this back and forth and, and break it, or um, you can use a knife and just push down real hard. Um, once I have my third sheet, what I'm going to use for this is strips, or sorry, half sheet. I'm going to use thirds from this, this one half, and I'm going to cut it longwise. So I'm going to take about a third of it and just sort of roll my knife down and cut all the way through. And I'll do that again. So I have three strips, about equal in size. Okay, now I'm going to set those aside and just get my hands a little wet. And I'm going to get about a little less than a golf ball size. Um, of rice here. And you can do this again to personal preference. You can make them a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to form this into a rectangle by just pushing on either side like this. And I'm going to make three of those for my three strips here. I just kind of rolled it into a ball first. I don't know that it's absolutely necessary to do that. It just kind of gets the rice to hold together a little bit better, but after a couple years on the sushi line, it's just force of habit at this point. So, get my, my three rice balls there, or cubes. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of rice and just put a little dollop of it on the end of each strip. Now with the rough side um, and the uh, any any kind of less smooth side um, that you cut or the natural side there, I'm going to put that down and I'm going to put the rough side towards the rice. That helps it stick and for presentation it's better to have the smooth side out. And I'm just going to wrap this around like so. So I formed a little cup. See the rice is kind of down in there. I'll do that with my other two. I'm just sealing it with that piece of rice that I, that I put on. Just okay. 
Now I've got my three cups here. I'm just going to fill them up with my crab meat. You can spoon it in, but I feel like it's a little bit better to use your hands. It helps really pack it in there without pushing down too much on the, on the nori cup. And you can, for presentation, have kind of more leg piece on the top as well, so they can really see that it's crab leg and not just like a canned crab meat. Now with each uh, caviar that you buy, they will usually come with a little mother of pearl spoon. You don't have to use that. But those in the know say that it is uh, the, the metal affects the taste of the caviar, so I'm just going to use that and dollop my caviar on top. You can also add some chives to this if you like, but this is pretty colorful and fancy all on its own, so. Now you can also take a little bit, if you'd like more of the caviar flavor, you can take some of the caviar and mix it in with your crab meat mixture. With this half a cup, I can definitely make three more of these. So one full nori sheet, half a cup of crab, a um, tablespoon and a half of mayonnaise. Uh, I don't think they get any smaller than this for caviar. But uh, that will, um, that'll make at least six pieces. You could probably get that to eat or six in a taste tester. So that's always helpful. So, all right, there you have it. Snow crab and caviar, or nigiri, not sashimi, nigiri cups. For more recipes and videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website at sadiesquire.com.